Hello, can you believe the sitcom Whoops Apocalypse was released 41 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Ed Bishop was born on June 11, 1932, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character Jay Garrick in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2005, he passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. Many people are known to have perished, including 300,000 United States Marines, who only recently arrived in Israel as part of President Johnny Cyclops' peace strategy. The president's only listed... So just the way things work out, we don't keep in touch. So Paul Foster you don't see, or you don't know what he's up to at the moment? Last I heard about Paul, he was in America, doing very well. He Barry Morse was born on June 10, 1918, in Smith, London, England. He played the character President Johnny Cyclops in the sitcom when he was 64 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2008, he passed away at 89, leaving us deeply saddened. The latest public opinion polls. Oh my God, this is a disaster. How am I ever going to get re-elected with a popularity rating 10 points below Charles Manson? In almost unbelievable ways. But there is just being published a book which I've written. Richard Griffiths was born on July 31st, 1947, in Thornaby on Tees, North Riding of Yorkshire, England. He played the character Premier Dubin Kin in the sitcom when he was 35 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2013, he passed away at 65, leaving us deeply saddened. There was a man and he was an encyclopedia. He knew the weight of the moon to announce and the name of every star. He knew all of Bruce Montague was born on March 24, 1939, in Deal, Kent, England. He played the character Shah Mashik Rasim in the sitcom when he was 43 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2022, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. For the shore and somehow try to find my way to America. If you get taken by the KGB, remember, tell them nothing. Fear not, master. I paid you 25 pounds for seven repeats, thinking you will never be repeated more than seven times. Well, with the increase of cost of living and the... John Cleese was born on October 27, 1939, in Western Supermare, Somerset, England. He played the character Lacrobat in the sitcom when he was 43 in 1982. Now he's living happily at 83. ...signed, as you can see, by Professors Venables, uh, Pilger, Tatlock, Aramis, and Dance, exchanged... ...to whom it may concern. Buddhist? Um... I, I'm a closet something. <laughs> I actually think that there's something going on. David Kelly was born on July 11, 1929, in Dublin, Ireland. He played the character Abdab in the sitcom when he was 53 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2012, he passed away at 82, leaving us deeply saddened. The astronauts, where have they gone? They are outside the ship. Phantom of the Opera, <laughs> repairing the satellite. But what if any... The idea of doing it straight without the audience, but the BBC insisted. And um, they, they collect audiences in a strange fashion. You never get a cross-section. You... Rick Mayo was born on March 7, 1958, in Matching Thai, Essex, England. He played the character Biff in the sitcom when he was 24 years old in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at 56, leaving us deeply saddened. Cyclops bomb! Well, Biff thought it was a good idea. Am I right, Biff? The Johnny Cyclops bomb. It grabs me. It grabs Biff! It's fabulous casting. I've got Miranda, the Miranda Richardson. I'm like, the, one of the actresses. I get to go, oh, Miranda Richardson, without being sexist, obviously. Peter Jones was born on June 12, 1920, in Wem, England. He played the character Kevin Park in the sitcom when he was 62 in 1982. 
We regret to inform you that in 2000, he passed away at 79, leaving us deeply saddened. Justice and the socialist way should have seen this crisis coming with my telescopic vision. It could then have slipped into a phone box and changed into your secret. John Barron was born on December 24, 1920, in Marylebone, London, UK. He played the deacon in the sitcom when he was 62 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2004, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Shah won't give us away now, Mr. President. I've had him removed from that ferry to a place the Russians will never find him. Charles Gay was born on August 31st, 1930, in Coventry, Warwickshire, England, UK. He played the character of French foreign minister in the sitcom when he was 52 in 1982. Now he's living happily at 93. John Barrett was born on September 12, 1924, in Islington, London, England. He played the character Jonathan Harper in the sitcom when he was 58 in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2013, he passed away at 89, leaving us deeply saddened. Lieutenant, I got an itch in my legs, fair driving me loco. Would you just scratch it for me? Yep. Bob Sherman was born on November 16, 1940, in Redwood City, California. He played the character Buzz in the sitcom when he was 42 years old in 1982. We regret to inform you that in 2004, he passed away at 63, leaving us deeply saddened. Require desperate remedies, sir. Yeah, okay, I got it. They wheel him into the operating room, right? And then, and then the doctor opens up his chest, and Cyclops says, I sure hope Congress will approve. John Peters was born on June 2nd, 1945, in Van Nuys, Los Angeles, California. He played the character Helicopter Navigator in the sitcom when he was 37 in 1982. He is now living happily at 78. A message. Port's gonna turn him over to the Russians. Unless we get there first. Hey, there she is, soldier! Swing her down! Tell me who is your favorite character in the sitcom Whoops Apocalypse and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.